going past Martin Chuck here, and this tip is called two for show. Why is it two for show? Well, there's two styles of pitch shots that most good players have, and I want you to have these. One is the sexy spinning pitch shot. The other is kind of a higher launching, steeper landing angle shot. The first, the, the spinny one, you know, when I used to play a lot of pro events and, and pro ams, people would say, Martin, you know, how do you hit that? How do you make that ball stop like that? Well, I'll say there's a couple things. One, a clean club face, a premium golf ball, and some fundamentals that this will help you with. So the couple shots, let's talk about it. The first is called a long arc pitch shot, a long radius. What do I mean by long radius? Well, when I get my comfortable arms together, my arms are in front of me, the club's a little bit off the ground. You can see as I trace this behavior right here, that's the farthest the club can be away from me as I move in accord with my pivot. So I'm moving my body, I'm moving the golf club, I'm feeling the weight and rhythm of the club in my hands. That's a big deal. So hitting this shot, this is the spinny one. And watch the, how this ball won't go that high. I've got about, oh, 40 yard, 40 yard shot to this pin right here. I'm gonna fly it 30 yards of that. And it's even a little downhill, but watch the reaction of the ball when it hits the green. So that ball checked up. It's getting away from me a little bit. But you can see, even with a 60 degree lob wedge, the ball came up pretty low with a lot of spin. Now I just, you know, a little downhill, I maybe didn't judge that as good as I could have. But the technique is in there in that we're transporting a long radius through this, the maximum arc, nipping the golf with a lot of spin out the middle of the face. So how you're gonna practice this at home, get your good hands on the club, get your arms in front of your body. Just take a look at the club head and paint that little semicircle right there as that club kind of goes from waist high to waist high and feel that your body can move in that same rhythm and then you're going to bend that over and let that collect the ball, brush the grass, you're going to get that low spinny sexy wedge shot. Now the second one is a, short, is a shorter radius shot, that's where the ball is going to launch a little higher. So why does it launch higher? Because that's where we actually encourage the club to overtake the triangle of our arms and hands. So the same feeling of rhythm, but we're gonna let this club pass us by a little bit. And you can see in the finish, I can almost reach out and grab that club head, whereas in the long radius shot, the club head's too far for me to reach. So the short radius shot, we've got the shaft neutral, maybe even leaning back a little bit. And as I let this club get down by the golf ball, I'm actually touching the grass fractionally before the golf ball, using the balance of the golf club. That's why it's so important to have that neutral shaft, not a forward leaning shaft, that's a no-no. So the shaft's back a little bit, we're gonna brush the grass, and watch the short radius follow through as I hit this little shot. Again, I can almost reach out and grab that club head, and that was a nice little shot. It had a higher launch, it had a steeper landing angle, but they both had some spin on them. So there's the two shots, two for show, that you have to have. One, the long radius, sexy low spinning shot that you see a lot of tour players hit. And then that second one where the club head overtakes, where the radius is a little shorter. Club ball goes a little higher, stops a little steeper. You put those two in your back pocket, use them appropriately, you're gonna play some great golf.